Hello and welcome back to Factorio Prohibited, the series where we are doing the four achievements that does not allow us to build certain stuff. In this episode I am going to start off by finishing military science and after that I think I'm going biter hunting but I'm not completely sure yet. First of all let's get this done. I was considering using the same line of iron for the um, turrets and I think I'm actually going to do that because these do not use a lot really. But we need to, um, let's see, we need to make gears, a lot of gears. It's eight seconds, 10 gears. So one for two is not enough. So we are going to make them one for one. And one turret is taking eight seconds, the same as these. So we should have eight turret makers. That sounds like a lot, but two, three, four. Let's see. I am going to start with five. It might be enough. Three, four, five, and then the gears. Not the turret, the gears. We are going to expand this one. Actually, the iron might just be enough because we don't have coal, so the machines aren't really working. But that's okay. If we do need more, I will upgrade the belt into a red one later and it will be fine. So we need copper here as well. The belt and I'm going to use blue inserters because they do need quite, quite a lot. And the copper is here. I'm going to drag the belt so I can line it up properly. And there we go. Now, this one's going to need a blue, this one. I guess I can make it go the other way as well. I don't really lose anything from that and might gain an efficiency point or two at point at some places. Now let's see. And the power pulls down here. Many power pulls down there. Now we need to actually get the turrets out of the machine as well. So that's going to be red inserters. Military science takes 10 seconds. So to make one a second, we need five machines because these make two and two. So it's not that bad on, on the actual machines. I'm going to put those out here by the other science machines or upwards. Yeah, I can actually go upwards. That might be a good way to do it. Let's see. One. I'm just going to keep it this way. I chickened out on going vertical there. Would have been too drastic for me. We don't want to do anything too drastic here. Uh, 
Now uh, then, that's turrets in, and we need the other stuff in. Probably just need reds for those, but we do have um, a decent amount of uh, of blues right now, so it shouldn't really matter. Now, am I going out of belts again? Yes, I am. I'm using so many belts for some reason. It's strange that when you play Factorio, you actually use belts to move stuff. Let's also start a new research here. I've been slacking a bit on that. Let's set up this one. That, that's going to be a really nice thing to get after we uh, finish up the military science here. Let's see, can we do it like this? Yes, we can. Now. To say it in proper Norwegian, what daven do I do now? We are going to put it on the outside. This this is where my uh, lack of braiding experience comes in. So we can't place one there. So we have to... Do we have to skip one? That does not sound right. But if we're going to keep it like this, we do need to. Maybe if we move this, I'm just going to try something here now. This might be completely wrong, and chances are we have to. Let's see. We need two because we do need space for. We do need space for the other science as well, but we can move this one, I think, like that. And then we put it into the thingy like this. Oh, this is exciting. I like this. That should work. Do we have science on the belt? No, we do not. Maybe I should not put it on the belt before I'm finished with this either, so I don't mess it up. Yeah, I like this. There is another way of doing it. I think it might have been just as effective to not have the uh, to, to only use undergrounds and not have the above ground belt there but i really like to see what's going on as well uh, and not like this where it's hard to see so i'm going to try it like this and keep it like this for now So far, so good. Now, I am... Um, not sure what I'm doing here. Because I am doing it wrong. It needs to be one up. And then we... Underground here underground here and underground there looky looky looks good and then we can connect it all to see ah oh, we have military science this 
does make me a tiny bit happy. We do not have any iron at all though. So we should upgrade smelters. I'm going to get stone brick on the bus somehow, I think. We should need that for later. Stone brick, maybe not, but we can't have it like this. This is pointless. So, sorry about that. The wall is going to have to stop for now. We do not need more walls and we do not need more stone furnaces. What we do need is brick. So I'm going to just let them make brick for now. They don't have much coal though and I don't have much coal either. No. <laughs> and we do not see coal anywhere yet. Ah well. Uh, let's see. Ah oh, we have. Let's see if we do. If it's working. Yes it's working. It's circling around. And I didn't put up the inserters. So we need to do that. I'm happy we noticed that. Oh, this belt braiding looks beautiful. I'm very happy with my uh, creation here. I don't think I've ever gotten to a spot where when I make um, when I make the final few science packs like logistic science and stuff I've always struggled with uh, getting it going now why is it not moving here now because there is no room it can't go around. Now, does that matter at all? What I can do is just leave it like this because for now it doesn't matter, I think, because it stops here. If we get low on science, it's going to use it slower, but I don't think that really matters for now. So I'm going to keep it like this. If I find a solution, and it's probably not really that hard even, but I haven't uh, looked up anything. But I guess if, if I wasn't connecting it here, if I connected it over here, it would have been a lot easier because there is a lot more room to connect there. That would have been such an easy fix. This is one of the reasons we are going to make this fix right now. Let's see. Up, 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 up. And then we just merge it in here. Then it goes in here. This one just goes here, and this one gets removed. This one doesn't get totally removed though, because we merge it there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spaghetti. Now then, up here and in here. Nice. We solved a problem. Now then, what was the next problem we had? I do not remember. Can turn this one down now. This 
temporary array machine thing. And for now, we are going to put a turret box here, which we limit to one stack because we don't place that many anyway. Red up uh, the smelters. Now, what do I do about red ammo? I think I'm going to Let's see. Uh, I can't belt right here. That's a bit too much work, I guess. We do need ammo out. Let's see. I can just use a separate belt if I have to expand this, but for now I really don't have to expand it, I think. Do we have filter inserters? Yes, but we do not have a machine for that, I guess. I'm just going to make a box that picks up the spare. That's wrong. Uh, a box that picks up the spare... Um, ammo that comes through that we aren't using for uh, science for now. I think that should be fine because because uh, we aren't going to use the military research at all times. Now bullet damage is oh, plus 20% that's a lot. I thought oh, it's increased. Very nice. Now, red blinkies, that's a second attack up there, and they are out of ammunition. So, chest, chest, do I not have a chest? I am out of chests. No, 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 I have a bunch of chests. Okay. Not limiting too much here. Now, we had this discussion when we played multiplayer about using inventory spots to set filters, and that was very easy with ammo. You can even open the filter with the ammo in your hand. That's nice. There was also a Friday fact. Uh, now I read, they said they are going to change the Lazy Bastard achievement in the next uh, patch. So it will be a lot more, uh, I wouldn't say easy, but it, it's a, a bit less complex at the beginning at least, because um, you will no longer need Assembler 2. So the beginning is going to be a lot quicker. And at once you, uh, because uh, at once you hit Assembler 1, now they can only craft items that require up to two items. But in the next patch, that's no, no longer going to be the case. So you can even make the first oil refinery that requires five items in the first assembly machine. So that's going to be uh, a nice change for quality of life, but it does make achievements like this a bit less intricate. So I'm really happy I started now and had to go through all the pain. That's fun when you play games to challenge yourself. That's why I just play on a random map with default resources as well for the tiny bit of extra challenge there. Now I did remember the radar this time and we seem to be fine on ammunition. 18, 22, okay so the attacks are a bit more centered here than I thought. Putting up a few more and putting in a bunch of real ammunition for now. Now then, bullet damage is done. Even more bullet damage, I think. 
I'm going to focus on damage instead of attack speed, because even though attack speed helps them do more damage quicker, it also burns ammo quicker. You don't get more damage per ammunition spent. So getting the damage boost is, uh, one could say, a little bit closer to free damage than the attack speed one is. Now, I should set up the other side of the smelting array as well and um, get um, more steel. But I do think iron is more important for now. Definitely more important. So, first of all, I am going to set up red thingamajiggies. That is the proper name for the belts and undergroundies and splitters. Or what I mean is thingamajiggies. So that's going to be very easy to set up. I'm not sure why I didn't do this before. I think it I think my reasoning was that we really didn't have any iron, so we couldn't have made much anyway. So chest here, chest here, and chest there. Now we do need to get uh gears, lots and lots of gears in here. I'm going to make it as far as I can. Oh, we have red stuff in the making. Two stacks of those and two stacks of those and Four, five stacks of those. Okay. We're going to limit this one now because when we get red production going, we won't need yellow as much anymore. Now then, this is going to be one of my temporary. Uh, crafting contraptions, I guess, or something like that. Um, oh, hello, friends. I guess one turret here might be nice. Ah, oh, the other copper ones are done now. I'm not sure how the pollution works if they are not working. Let's see. I'm just going to put down the other side here now. It's, it's there is so little copper here. And um, when it's cleaned up, it's going to give room for the bus, so I want to clean up this field as soon as possible. Now, this is one of the parts of the game where I am just fixing random stuff that needs to be fixed. And, uh, I like that way of playing Factorio, just wandering about a bit and placing some stuff and fixing some stuff and somehow when you do that you end up at a better place. Now do we have ammunition? Yes we have a lot of ammunition. But why? Because we do not have coal again. This coal is a struggle. This is a real struggle. Now that we have uh, red ammo, we can uh, 
go explore and look for new coal, I guess, soon. As long as everything in the base is safe first, because that's important. If we're far away and the base isn't safe, we might actually lose the game. And that would have been an embarrassing ending to a YouTube series, at least. Getting overrun by biters and no base left. Well, I guess I could have rebuilt, because without a base, you do not pollute very much. So the biters might go back to being happy. I believe this might be the reason there is so little coal here, because the map generator placed a copper ore field on top of a coal field. Now, this is funny. It's not connected. Now it is. <laughs> oh, it feels so ridiculous when you not, uh, notice stuff like this so much later. I guess we didn't need it. We've had it enough power, but it still uh, feels bad, I guess. Or yeah, I'm going to input priority the left here so they get rid of their stuff first. Now let's see. We are safe up here now. We are safe everywhere. I think we do need more coal. I think I'm going to try to move on to solid fuel as soon as possible if we get oil before we get coal. Solid fuel is going to make that uh, a little bit less strainy. Then we can use the coal for important crafts like uh, science and later on plastic as well. So that's what, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to set up one smelting array first. If, let's see. I'm also going to steal some of the coal from this line. Uh, two stacks, I think, to fill this. Then we are going to use all the stone brick to make um, steel furnaces. So, one machine for steel furnaces here. In. And this is going to need a lot of steel. It's easy to obtain steel right now, though. We do have a lot. We don't use it as much because we, I guess it's because we don't have enough um, other stuff like iron plates. But this is going to help a lot on iron plate production. Now, yeah, it's going to help a lot. That's nice. After a while, I'm going to prioritize these as well, as once we get more than one belt of iron in, because we only do have one belt right now. And that's not a lot at all. We are, however, starting to get a lot of belts. Yes, belts. Now, oil stuff. Pump jacks, they, this requires green circuits and steel plate in addition to the stuff we already have here. So we need pump jacks and we need chemical plants. Those basically need the same stuff. So pump jack and chemical and there. 
one in and one in. Now we need greens and steel here. Maybe I built this thing in the wrong. Oh, it's going to be fine. The second I remember what I was actually doing, it's going to be fine. Now, let's see. Let's make a tunnel. one needs to be red or I need to move it let's see I'm going to move it up some here actually mm, lovely spaghetti there we go Now, this thing, we do not need that, that anymore. We are not going to make more of those power poles. We do not need that. So, like this and like this. That looks better. And like this. Two stacks of those. I think four stacks of those. Nice. Now, we are actually getting quite close to having everything we need to set up oil and advan advance towards Science Pack 3. Science Pack 3 needs... Um... Oh, there it is. It needs plastic. And that's it, basically. So that's it's going to be very nice to get that going. Um, and after that, we are going to try to go straight for Assembler 3. But that's going to take a bit of work. So the next research we are going to do is plastic. But all of this is most likely going to be in the next episode let's hope so at least i'm going to try to make the um refinery to start down here i'm going straight down to place it and let it start building up with the crude no not crude oil but all the oil products to keep it going because we can only have one in the beginning so that's it for today's episode Thank you all for watching and see you guys in the next one.